There are many different kinds of redirects, each with a different numerical code. The two most common are 301 and 302. 301 is a permanent redirect, and 302 is a temporary redirect. There's also 300, 303, 304, 307, and 308 redirects, but don't worry about those. So let's look at two different methods to create a redirect with WordPress. Your first option is to edit your HT access file. To do this, open your FTP client to get into the root directory of your WordPress installation. Just under the core files, you should see .ht access. Now go ahead and open this file into your code editor. All you have to do is add in a simple line of code just above this line. And if we wanted to do a 302 redirect, we would just change this to 302. This will redirect your entire site to the URL specified. If you want to redirect to a specific page, post, or URL within your site, you'll need to provide it as well as the destination URL. For example, we can do slash blog post to elegantthemes.com slash category slash blog post, or we could do blog post 2.html to category blog post 2.html. Once you're done with this though, you can go ahead and save your file and re-upload it to your server. Your second option is to use a plugin to create redirects. For this tutorial, we'll use the quick page post redirect plugin. Simply install and activate the plugin and then click on quick redirects here on the left side. The default type of WordPress redirect is 301 and you set them up simply by typing the request URL and the destination URL. You can choose if you want it to open in a new window or if you want it to be no follow, but once you're done, just simply click add new redirects. At the bottom of the page, we can see our existing redirects and if we want, we can either edit or delete any redirect we made. Let's go ahead and try it out. There we go. Simple as that. Definitely take your time to check out all of the different options and settings available in this plugin. And with that said, you now know two different ways to create redirects with WordPress. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.